Oh, I think uh, when I was a kid, mate, I used to, uh, when I was eight years of age, I used to drive a car. And uh, from there on, I think the uh, the interest just grew and grew until such time as I knew exactly what I wanted to do by the time I was old enough to get a licence. Mm -hmm. between uh, Ford and Holden, although I did start off in Holden's many years ago, but uh, I wasn't really known at all then, but uh, we've got a bit of an aim in the Fords and I think that's the way to go because to me Ford means first on race day. The Falcon was a fantastic motor car. It was so quick that you, you could light the tyres up sort of thing at 100 miles an hour. It, it just had so much horsepower. Well, I think you've really got to conquer your own dunghill first. And, uh, you know, they say, who the hell are you when you go overseas? I suppose you may as well be uh, the bottom end of the, the, the kings than, uh, than being with all the other turkeys because it's, it's a very difficult game anywhere in the world. And besides that, Australia and New Zealand have the most competitive touring cars in the world. Queensland's number one son, Dick Johnson. Of course, there is the JPS Ford Mustang, which he's sharing this weekend and next in the two-round Nissan Mobile 500 with Neville Crichton. Well, Dick is now the flag bearer for Ford in Australia. He's taken over that uh, role from Alan Moffat, who first went to Mazda, then to uh, Holden, of course. But Dick persevered with the Falcon really beyond that car's racing life and switched last year to the Mustang. Had a few problems with it. This is a new car. It's got more horsepower than the one he raced with Neville Crichton at the end of last year in the Benson and Hedges event. It's a quick car and you can be sure that Dick will have this thing really flying. He's got new tyres, more power. He was on pole last year in an unsuitable car. So just imagine what he might be able to do this year in a, a thing like the Mustang. A little smaller, certainly very powerful and really mobile around here. He's one of the 15 Australians against what, 66 New Zealanders, and there's some really top New Zealanders in this event, including Tony, a former world champion as far as motorcycling is concerned. <laughs> 